Hi, my name's Amanda from the Arthur Agriculture Society, and today we're going to tour a dairy farm. Do you know where milk comes from? Ever wonder how it gets from the farm to the store? Let's take a closer look inside Farfield Farm and learn all about milk production. Welcome to Farfield Farms. This is a dairy farm in Wellington County. We are just outside of Alma, Ontario. This is what our milking barn looks like from the outside. We've got our calf hutches all along there. And that's for the newborn male calves. We put them out here. And we put our female calves in our new calf barn there, which you'll see a little bit later. But welcome to our farm. We built this new dairy barn in 2014 um, and decided to put in robotic milkers, which is a really cool um, milking system. So this is our barn, nice and open. It's kind of like a covered field for the cows. So I'll take you right into our robot room because I can hear that there is a cow milking. Take you in here. Okay, so we've got a cow milking here. Actually, she's just kind of almost done. This is our milking arm and it's on the cow there milking. So the cow walks in, the laser reads her Utters and finds where to put the milker and the arm reaches out and puts the milker on her and when she's done each of the milking cups comes off when that quarter is done. Cows have four quarters on their udder that they supply milk from and in our robot the milk comes in here and once this cow is done this milk gets pumped over to our great big cooler that I'm going to show you in a little bit. So these are our robots that we use to milk our cows. We have three of them. One I was just in, that one there, and that one there. The cows can come whenever they want to. Uh, most of them average two to three times a day. And there's the robot from the outside that the cow would walk into. And there's a cow in the back robot here too. Just beginning actually. So from the outside, the cow has just walked in. And right now, it just finished cleaning her udder once and it's going to clean her udder another time just to make sure it's nice and clean before it starts milking her. And there it comes again, just to wash her up a little bit. Okay. Take a look at our cow while the cows are milking. <laughs> this one's a little shy. They get a little bit of feed you can see going in there. And that feed is kind of like dessert for them. It's kind of like a treat candy. And that just keeps them busy and occupied while they're here being milked so that they're nice and comfortable. Aren't you comfortable when you're eating treats? <laughs> there we go. All right, so now it's all done cleaning. So now there's a laser that comes out and it's just kind of seeing where her teats are there. Those are teats that the milking cup is going to attach to. And there we go, up it goes. And so it'll put all four of those on and she'll keep in there until she's done. So in our barn, we have a couple of sections. These cows out here are milking cows. They just kind of lounge all day long, get up when they want to, eat when they want to. And over here, I'll go around, but those are our um, cows that are pregnant and they're just, they get to chill out for a couple of months back there just eating when they want to and sleeping when they want to. So I'll take you out here to our cows. As you can see, 
These guys are all pretty relaxed out here. They're probably gonna start getting up because I'm walking around, but they're pretty chill out here, right? So we really think it's important to keep our cows comfortable. If our cows are comfortable, then guess what? They're happy. And happy cows make farmers happy. Can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> Some of them are a little more friendly than others. Also in our barn, we have, um, you can see it's kind of manure but this is a scraping system that is also automated. Um, we put it in when we built the barn and every few hours it goes and it scrapes this nice and clean so that the cows aren't walking through manure. I'll just show you their feed very quickly. Their feed is made of um, a little bit of corn silage. So that's corn stalks all chopped up. Um, it's also got some hay in there, which is chopped up grass. Um, and that's really all we put in there. It's chopped up grass and chopped up corn. We put a few little mineral supplements in there um, just to give them a little more vitamins. Um, sometimes cows can lack vitamins and uh, we just need to keep them the healthiest they can. Now we've got some curious cows here trying to figure out what I'm doing. Hi guys. So all of these guys are females. We only milk female cows. Um, the male are called bulls and we actually usually ship them off um, when they're quite young and someone else takes care of them. I'm gonna bring you back here. Back here are our mama cows who have just recently had babies. So they, again, are back here. They get to just relax. Um, and when they want to, they can come up and they can go into our robot through the back here and milk whenever they want to. They have the same feed as our other cows I just showed you, okay? And I'll just bring you over and show you our, we call them dry cows. They're cows who aren't milking right now, but they have babies inside of them. So as I said before, we give them a couple of months to just relax and chill out, right? Are you chilled out? Yeah. Now we feed these guys a little bit differently. Looks kind of the same, but it's a little different. There's a lot more um, straw in their feed. And when cows are pregnant, um, they just need a little more um, of the fiber that's in the straw. All right, hi. So there's our scraper at the end at rest. So when it goes, it'll just put those flaps down right there. Those flaps will go down and it'll push the manure. Also in our barn, we have this really cool thing. It's called the Laley Juno. Basically what it is, is it is an automated feed pusher. So it will go around every so many hours as well, and it will push the feed in. It's kind of like a Roomba for our barn and the feed that the cows have. So these are some more dry cows, cows that are pregnant, but just chilling. Oh, they are uh, up close. As you can see right here, this one, Hi, Mama. She would have just given birth probably about 20 minutes ago. So the calf is here and she's just licking it off clean. She's a good Mama. We keep them in here just for a little bit. Um, then we will take the calf out and uh, we will milk the Mama and give that calf some milk if it hasn't already drank from its Mama. Hi, Mama. Okay, and then that cow will go on to where I showed you the cows that just had their babies. So I'm going to take you now and show you where the milk goes. There's some cows just relaxing. This one's quite friendly. Aren't you? You're a friendly girl, huh? All right. Okay, so our milk gets picked up every other day. So every other day it gets picked up. In the meantime, 
It gets stored in this tank. There's the front half. I'll show you the back half on the other side of this wall. The back half of the tank is right here. So that gets pretty full of milk. Um, when your milk, our milk, um, gets pumped out of the robot, there's a pipe up here. It gets pumped through that and into, this is our room, utility room. It gets pumped in here and it goes through a filter system because you don't want dirt in your milk, right? And then it gets pumped over into our big tank. And that cooler, um, it stays cold. There's a, a cooler here. Um, it stays cold and uh, stirs it up every so often until the milk truck comes to pick it up. So the milk truck, um, you'll see a little bit later, hooks the hose into this little inlet here and sucks the milk into the big tank. I'm gonna see if I can get up here and just show you the milk, okay this guy up here okay I've not done this with one hand so bear with me and you can see there look at all the nice cold milk in there guys it's just stirring it up there to keep it all consistently cold all right I'm just gonna turn you around quick here oh, maybe not Okay, so that is, this is our milk house. This tank, um, when the milk truck picks up the milk, it goes through a wash cycle. Really hot water, lots of soap, and everything gets washed all nice and clean. Everything is very, very clean in our operation, and it has to be because you guys are drinking the milk, right? All right, so that is our cooler that stores our milk in it. This is how your milk gets picked up in one of these big trucks. Every other day the milk truck comes. And the on comes. That comes and hooks into our tank. and see if there's, I'm not sure if there's any cows out here, to be honest. Um, no, doesn't look like it. So out here, we would normally put the male calves, the bull calves, because they only stay with us for a very short while. And then someone else takes them and raises them. Um, otherwise, we put the female calves, the heifers, over into this cool calf barn. This is our calf barn. This is where the calves come after they're born. Uh, the female calves, the heifers. They come into here. It's kind of like a protected little house for them. And they all have their own little pens that they sleep in and go in and out of when they want to. And this is a really cool uh, robotic arm that feeds them milk every um, so many hours it comes out and they're allowed to drink whenever they want whatever they want and then we've also got food in front of them there's some pellets and some corn in there and they can eat that whenever they want to and just water that it needs to be changed right now but um, they have fresh water available to them as well so these are our calves down here are our oldest calves and then over here, there's our very youngest calf right here. Okay, here we go. All right, so that's about it for our barn. We probably milk about 150 cows um, at a time. And as I said, they get to come and go when they want to. Um, they just get to relax when they want to. Um, show you very quickly our manure tank over here this is where all the poop gets pumped it's not super interesting but uh, if you ever see those great big manure spreaders that are green or red um, that is what they're spreading they're spreading this liquid manure on the fields and that gives all the plants in the fields 
uh, vitamins and minerals to grow big and strong. There's our feed truck. We get feed for the cows in that. And we've got a drive shed with all our equipment. So we grow all of our crops here um, for the cow feed. So we've got hay, haylage, and corn silage. So chopped up grass, chopped up corn, and just dry hay, which looks like dry grass. There you have it. There's Farfield Farms Dairy Barn. Thanks for coming. Wow, what a great tour. And how cool are all those robots? Which one did you like the best? Do you remember how many times a cow gets milked a day? Crystal said it was about two to three. And how often does the milk get picked up from the farm? That's right, every other day. Let's say a big thank you to the Schnarr family for taking us on a tour inside their dairy farm. And don't forget to join us at the fair this September 10th, 11th, and 12th.